Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen.
Daniel's prayer and vision. Daniel 9, verse 1 to 27, lesson 4, 24. Junior Cross Memory Verse. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness, in thy faithfulness unto me, and in thy righteousness. Psalms 143, verse 1. Amen. 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 out of last day. Amen. Amen. So, this morning, what is our lesson? Amen. Amen. Daniel's prayer and, and the vision. So, we are continuing uh, with our lesson regarding Daniel. Uh, let us read from our lesson, Senior Memory Verse, uh, Psalms 141, verse 2. Psalms 141, verse 2. Verse 2. from his character. Uh, he was blameless. Daniel was blameless. 
He was a prayerful uh, young person until he finished all his time uh, in the uh, land of captivity. And he was the person who read uh, his Bible. Regarding his life as a blameless person, let us read that from uh, our scripture here, Daniel 6, 4 and 5. Daniel chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. Daniel chapter 6, verse 4. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault. For as such as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. And this is who? Verse 4. Now, for it is because the Nabu see, rather than the shoulder, who would have a punyan is the soul of the name. Now, Muso. Kepa, rather than a man, now, man, I told you. Oh, we shall have a way. Over, over, Amen. And we find that uh, even if uh, even in hardship, Daniel continued to pray, pray three times. You know, sometimes as Christians, when we face hardship, we may change our pattern of Christianity. We find that we're no longer the same. And during the time he was taken into captivity, he, he read his Bible. We know that uh, the prophecies around the, the captive was prophesied by Jeremiah. He made the reference uh, of, in the Bible for, concerning the matters of uh, captivity. Let us read that from um, Daniel 9, 1 and 2. And we will also read Psalms 137, 1 to 4. Daniel 9, verse 1. In the first year of Darius, the son of Aesus, of the seed of Medes, which was made king over the realm of Chaldeans. In the first year of his realm, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years. Wherefore the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish seventy years in the desolation of Jerusalem. Amen. Someone can, can please read uh, Psalms 137, 1 to 4. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yes, we wept. When we remembered Zion, verse 2, we hanged our hearts upon the widows in the midst thereof. For, for there they carried, sorry, verse 3, for there they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us men, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? To, today, as Christians, it is very important to also read our Bible and to make references concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And making reference to our Bible, it is very clear uh, when we read the sign, it is very clear that Jesus is coming very soon. Amen. Let us read that from Romans 13, 11 and 12. Romans 13, verse 11. And thus, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast out the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. 
This is Lulu. Eleven. Yebo, long side is card. Good. Several is the card is of us in Google. Of Tommy. Moreover, who see this away to some Sunday? I know. When I was going to let us start in this color of color. Amen. You know, learning throughout the lesson regarding Daniel, we can see that he was a very consistent man. We have identified the three characteristics regarding him, a prayerful person, a person who read the, the, the Bible. So throughout he was uh, consistent. So if it us today as to be to be true Christians, we need to be consistent. Amen. Amen. You know, there are some Christians who are very old, you know, after revival for community. Uh, they, they come very hot and even at home they know that hey when they did and mommy come from revivals we, we make prayers uh, in the evening. Mm. But few weeks down the line things change back to normal. We need to be very consistent. Consistency is the only way that will help us to make heaven our own. Amen. Because we don't know when Jesus is coming back. As, as we see that from, uh, from Daniel. So we need to keep the lamp burning on the Amen. So let us uh, look here at the Daniel's uh, approach, praying for his people. Uh, you know, Daniel begins his prayer with a tribute and confession of his people uh, not keeping God's law. We learned that Daniel, uh, although all his accomplishments in the land of Babylon, he approached his prayer with humbleness and meekness. Let us read that uh, from our lesson here, uh, Daniel 9, we'll take it from 3 to 8. Daniel 9, verse 3. <clears throat> and I set my face unto the Lord God, to seek by prayer and supplications, with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God, and made my confession, and said, O Lord! The great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him, and to them that keep his commandments. We have sinned, and we have committed iniquity, and have done wickedly, and have rebelled, even by departing from, from thy presence, and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, which spake in thy name in our kings, our princes and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, Amen. Amen. but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day, as at this day, to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitation and, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off. Through all the countries whither thou hast driven them, because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. O oh Lord, to us belong a confusion of faith, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. Let us pause for it, Isaiah 53. Ah, sorry, Isaiah 55, verse 3. Isaiah 55, verse 3. Incline your ear 
and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Someone please direct me. This is Zulu. Isaiah 55, verse 3. Isaiah 55, verse 3. Lula misani zimbebe seno, ni sekili, ni swani, nampefu noe, ya upi. Nami, yenze kisi mbumelo ano, esi nga pelio kinina, kumusaka davita, otko ni sekile. And let us also read Psalm 81, 13 and 14. Psalms 81, 13 and 14. Psalms 81, verse 13 and 14. Verse 13. All that my people had taken unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. 14. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my head against their adversaries. You know, some people when they, they pray, uh, they remind God of their contribution in the gospel and the experience they have. But we have been taught here, learning from Daniel, that we must always approach God with uh, great humility. And that's the only way God can listen to our prayers. <laughs> Let us make reference uh, to that. Let us read Luke 18, 10 to 14. Luke 18, verse 10. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one was a Pharisee and the other was a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men, as other men are, Extor extortion extortioners, unjust, adult adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice a week in, a, in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar, would not lift up so much as his eye unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified, rather than the other, for everyone that exalted himself shall be abased. And he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Amen. Amen. You know, we know that Daniel uh, was faultless. But we see him uh, praying for his people, even though he didn't do anything, anything wrong. And in his prayer, he said he, 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 know, he was the one wrong. So this question also comes to us as to how often as Christians do we pray for our neighbors? So Daniel trust for God's mercy. While Israel was waiting for punishment, who Israel is sending is Jesus. So let us read that from uh, Daniel 9. 9 to 15. Daniel 9, verse 9. To the Lord, to the Lord our God, below mercies and forgivenesses, though we have rebelled against thee, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he had set before us by his servant, the prophet. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses 
the servants of God, because we have sinned against him. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us, by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil is come upon us, yet may, yet may we not our prayer before the Lord our God, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Therefore hath the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. For the Lord our God is righteous in all his works which he doeth. For we obey not his voice. And now, O Lord, o Lord our God, that had brought thy people forth unto, out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and has gotten thee renowned, as at this day we have seen, we have done wickedly. Amen. Let us also read Leviticus 26, verse 18. You know, as Christians, we need to, to love each other. The display for love, uh, for the love that we have for our fellow brethren, is shown when we pray for each other. Because the Holy Spirit only functions when there's unity in the church. That is when we love for each other. You know, sometimes when a fellow brethren make a mistake, uh, we, we are quick to call, uh, to spread the word. Hey, you know, it's tough in the new change. Ah, even my brother, you hey, you made it such a bad. But that's not a sign of love. So in making reference to the Bible, Daniel was aware that the years of captivity were coming to an end. So in this regard, he started praying for perfect restoration for his people. Mm -hmm. So as Christians today, how often do we pray for our neighbors, for mm -hmm. our relatives? Mm -hmm. Even our children to be saved. Because, because when we make reference to the Bible, we can see that Jesus is coming very soon. So for this reason, we must be very concerned about our neighbors and our children, children that if they are not saved, they may not make heaven their own. Let us make a reference of that. Let us read John, um, rather Job 1 verse, verse 5. Mm -hmm. Job. Job chapter 1 verse 5. What's he love for us as he releases to the wood? And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, and Job sent said, and Job said, and, and, and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, 
and offered burnt offerings according to their number, according to the number of their all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. So if we have children who are not saved, we must be very concerned and we need to pray for them Amen. to be saved. Just like we can see Job was a very dedicated uh, father uh, praying for his own children. Uh, I will request for any comment if there are any so far uh, before we can proceed. If there are no we uh, if there are no oh yes uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we mean Yagas a pege a chipu to a pegging boss. A old Christopher to Mabu and a lap of the left corner. A lesson of Job one, verse one, two Timothy two, verse nineteen. Job one, verse one. Yebo. Babu call a woman to help the Lassau. Okamala, the Ladin Job. No more to hire you, Mille. Why a colleague? But out of all people, one person, I can't go to a wedding. I can't go to a wedding. I can't go we must really strive to be true Christians. is not, not proper in place. Bukum seven is better. to Daniel, why is Zila no water? A tandas are in Jena. Who call up tandas as Wednesday? A Sifuka appetite to tandas are And tandas open up to Jan. Well, to put that old person who put tandas are I guess one day you go to Timothy 2, verse 19. 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 Verse I guess we need to go to Timothy 2, verse 19. Verse 19. Mm. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Even this sin, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from him. Uh, read it in Zulu. Verse 19. Yeah. In course, he abats abides. No good, our dear one name, Moke, Abavisa, come on. You powder, lap of two of pow, who pow, a seal, who tore Uncle Siabas abide. Best of Kunuki, Mava, dead egg one name. Bend the witch's corns, Abayabang at Jalan, one name, Abayabanga, the Joyne Evangeli, Jenga Society. Evangelia is your society, a Chile. A Evangelia being a man of a Chile. We are not to Evangelia, we are to live in Chile. Yet, we are always interested in a pastoral land, a bench, a bench, a little auto, who told his mother in Gaza, what I was in the world to go on. Who told me I was in the world to go on. What I was in the world to go on. 
umphefumo lo into eqakatheke kakhulu uma sidza kunkulunkulu masekele ukujwayela ukuthi thina singabantu bevangeli lo nkulunkulu uyasizwa eh leminyaka hlangana nevangeli kodwa mina ngokwami uma sidza kunkulunkulu ngizwa ngiza njengesoni esihlangana nevangeli ngqana namhlanje yikho engiyikho khona mina engikhali lutho uNkulunkulu makanzize ngoba manje ngimnesti do to the grave uNkulunkulu makasize sibe ngamakristo wamampela singaba ngama 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 church goers yabo amen amen is there any issue with that word uh, so daniel please for amen
So we know that Israel was taken into captivity for not obeying the laws of their God. Let us read Leviticus 3 and 4. Sacrifice of the peace offering, an offering made by fire unto the Lord. The fat that covereth the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them. Oh, sorry, Leviticus 25, 3, 3 and 4. Leviticus 25, 3, 3 and 4. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 3 and 4. Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy, thy vineyard, and gather in the fruits thereof. Four. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath for the rest unto the land, a Sabbath of the, for the Lord. Thou shalt neither sow thy field, nor prune thy vineyard. This was the uh, laws that were issued for to the people of God to follow, but uh, they continued to disobey them. When we read the book of Jeremiah, we can uh, learn that Jeremiah issued the, the Israelites with warnings beforehand on what is going to happen if they continue to disobey God. So Jeremiah uh, did prophesy about the destruction of Jerusalem, Solomon's uh, temple, and uh, the scattering of uh, and uh, the taking of Israelites into captivity. But we see that these people didn't listen to Jeremiah. Uh, they didn't listen to Jeremiah's uh, prophecies and advice. Instead, they even uh, taken Jeremiah to the, to the prison. So even in prison, Jeremiah continued to, to prophesy. He didn't stop. So today's prophecies is with regard to uh, the gender for not repenting. The danger of not uh, being born again. Mm -hmm. The danger of not being sanctified and baptized by the Holy Ghost. And the danger for, for Christians to not live a holy life. So the prophets who are pastors, they are trying to prophesy about the, the danger for failing to obey or not. Uh, Doing such. You, you know, in our modern society, we find that uh, such pastors or prophets who, who try to preach the gospel, uh, the true gospel, are being suppressed. You know, just as in Jeremiah, he was taken into prison was made suffer for telling the truth. Uh, the same today, the, the you know, preachers who are telling the true gospel, they are being suppressed. Uh, some people decide not to even listen to their preachings. Let us read that from Second Peter. Second Peter 3, we'll take it from uh, 3 to 4 and then jump and read 8 to 10. Second Peter 
uh, three, three to three and four, and then jump eight to ten. Second Peter, Peter chapter three, verse three and four, then eight to ten. So perhaps as people in the gospel, some have uh, 20 years, 30 years, 10 years in the gospel, we have been taught about the coming of uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. We may say, ah, we may be part of uh, these people who are mentioned in the book of Peter to say, ah, this thing is, it doesn't seem to be happening. And as a result, we start getting used to the gospel and all the teachings that come from this gospel. Jesus is coming back. Amen. And you know, the prophecies uh, that Jeremiah prophet, uh, they were fulfilled. He promised that Jeremiah that was his. that was that was with regards to the Israelites. So the same promises regarding the coming of Jesus, they are going to be fulfilled. Amen. He promised that Jesus and Jeremiah that's going to be the one 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 that's going to be Daniel will continue on his prayer. We see that uh, the angel Gabriel appeared. Uh, you know, he answered uh, his prayer. Daniel, to be able to get no action, now he goes to Gabriel. He has been there. He has been to all of them. Let us read that from Daniel 9, 20 to 23. Daniel chapter 9, 20 to 23. Daniel 9, verse 20. And whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God for the holy mountain of my God. Yeah, whilst I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O oh Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of thy supplication, the commandments came forth, mm -hmm. and I am come to shew thee, for thou art greatly beloved. Mm -hmm. Therefore understand the matter, and consider the vision. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is Zulu. Verse 21. 
wathi sakhuluma ekuthandazeni lo muntu verse 20 verse 20 amen amen wathi ngisakhuluma ngithandaza ngibika isono sami nesono sabantu bakithi abayisraeli ngibeka ukunqenga kwami phambi kwathi kwathi hova uthixo wami ngentaba engcene ikathixo wami esendwana wathi ngisakhuluma ekuthandazeni lo muntu ugabriel engambona esibonakaliseni sokuqala ekhawulezisiwe ngokubhisa wangi wangi namatha ngesikhathi sokunikela kwa kwa kusiswa esendithuthi wangazisa wakhuluma nami wathi Daniel ngiphumile kaloku ukufundisa okwazisisa esendithuthi ekuqaleni kokuntusa kwango isiyalelo saphuma ngize ukubonisa ngokuba ungothandiweyo wena ngakho yazisisa indaba uqonde isibonakali isibonakali we see uh, the angel Gabriel revealing to Daniel how uh, the restoration of Je- Jerusalem would be accomplished. You know, this revelation to Daniel regarding the, uh, how God would deal with the Jewish was not only limited to the Jewish or rather limited to to the time in the past. But the prophecy or the revelation included the time in the future and the, also include the Gentiles. So that's why uh, when we study the Sunday school, it's not about uh, storytelling about the past. We also get to learn and how we can uh, apply such lessons in our lives. Amen. Because this revelation it also affects us going forward. So let us read that. Let us uh, read how the revelation was unfolding when we uh, got in the 70 weeks, weeks uh, of years, a given time uh, of the most holy. Let us read that from Daniel 9, verse 24. Daniel 9, verse 24. 70 weeks are gentlemen upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the Holy, to anoint the Most Holy. Amen. Amen. Mm. This is all. Amasonto amashuma is komisa, anunyele abantu wapo, no muzu wapo oinwele, Ela ugu pamuga, nogu ka nogu ka ula izono, nogu sa ule na ubi, nogu denisa ubulunga, nogu ne nogu ne na ko ke, nogu ka ula isma isma naga lo, nogu asisa, nogu nogu kova o inwele, nogu inwele. Amen. Amen. So sixty nine weeks, which equate to four hundred and eight years, are given from the commandment to, to the Messiah. Mm-hmm. Let us read that from Daniel 9, 25 to 26. Daniel 9, verse 25. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince, the prince shall be seven weeks and threescore and two weeks. The street shall be built again, and the wall, even in troublous times. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself and the people, and the people of the prince, 
that shall come, that shall come, shall destroy the city and the century. And the end, therefore, shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war, desolations are dirty man. Let us also read Genesis 1, verse 25. Nako yazi, kapela, uba, kusuwe, ekupumeni, wesiyalelo, kukuisela, nguwaka, ichemisalema. Kuze ube kuye kotojiwe yoyikos, kwa masoto amashumi atatisu atat atatisi tupa nambili, kwa kuya wakiwe indela nusere entupewe ni es eskat. Kwa tiamba amasoto amashumi atatisi tupa nambili, kotojiwe yoyanunye enga biko enga enga biko ubo. Kuti abantu bekosi ezayo bazothinta umuzi nendawo eyincene kepha ukuphela kwayo ngoba njengoza mutholo kuthi kube khona ukulwa kuze kube sesithupheni sesithupheni izithatha izithatha kanye eziyale eziyale we so we know when uh, Jesus comes to rapture his church, this world will be in the hands of Antichrist, who will be governing the whole world. This will be a very troubled uh, time for those uh, Christians who didn't make it in the rapture. So in this regard, we find that the final week which is equal to seven years, is given to Antichrist, and that will be the end of the age. Let us read that from Daniel 9, verse 27. Daniel 9, verse 27. And ye shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Amen. This is all. Verse 27. We are going to say, we are going to say, Soto libedi, akaule yangu ni soto, ugunigeenda, ugusachwe na ugunuzi. Bati uwe kona, bati cha epezu mnyoni, ene pigo lezi lezi lenge mo. Kepa, uze uwe, ewe kuchiswe, ugu tiloku, ugu ya lezi we, ugu uche la epezu wa kipoza uti. Uh, let us also read Matthew 24, verse 15. Matthew 24, verse 16. 15. So verse 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso reason, let him understand. And then and let us also read Isaiah 28, verse 18. Isaiah 28, verse 18. And your covenants with them shall be disannual, and your agreements with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is over. As I read it, verse 18. Verse 18. Messi Gumelo and the Selu and the Nobu pass a pool. Messi Gumelo and the Selu and the Tuna sing any. No Gushaya or Kulula, Lapo would do, Lapo would do. And then second from Thessalonians 
2, 3 to 4. Second Thessalonians 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except they come a falling away first. And that man of, of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, for that is worship, so that he, as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This is all Agung ami ko muntu ani kosisa yunanda. Ouba ali husiga unga 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 rafi ukala usubuga. Abana gali so muntu esolo umto ana obila aswa. Let's go. Oki oki gayo at para at para misa yo una kubonga ukuwa uti. No uti no uti yo.
Just to add on that, uh, on our previous le lesson, we learned about the, write the writing on the wall. So, of which those writings, uh, nobody was unable to interpret. You know, the same with the, with the Bible. There's a lot of uh, chapters in the Bible. In general, so, but without the Holy Spirit, uh, we see that people of this world are interpreting the Bible the other way around, uh, which is against the word of God or the will of God. The only way we can understand the Bible or the writings of God is when we have uh, uh, the Holy Ghost operating in us. Without that, that, and that, that can only be found with all the spiritual uh, experience. And without that, we will read the Bible like a history book. Without understanding. So that's why, so that, that, that's why Daniel was able to, to interpret such writings. Because he, had the, he, he was full of the Spirit of God. So the same with us. If God fills us with the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, we are able to understand the Bible. And the things that are happening in this world with regards to the Bible, we are able to interpret them. Are there, uh, there any contributions? Amen. Uh, I think it's also because Daniel is a purpose. So when we worship, we should have a purpose. Amen. So we should have a vision. Mm -hmm. Like the is always saying, you see, at companies, they have a vision mm -hmm. what they want to achieve. Mm -hmm. So we should have a vision where are we going? Do we believe that the Lord is coming? Mm -hmm. If we don't have that vision, we don't have a purpose. Mm -hmm. We just come to church. Amen. So we need to have a vision, and that, that way we'll be able to uh, operate going forward. Amen. Mm, amen. Uh, I think the way I, I heard it, she's talking about meditating the word of God day and night. That is coming from Joshua. Mm -hmm. Do we do that? Do we read the word of God day and night? Because if we are, we are, yes, we have three spiritual experience, but if we don't dedicate our life to God, we'll find ourselves going backwards. So, for us as Christians to grow, we need to pray, uh, just like we see Daniel pray uh, three times a day. We also need to read the word of God. Amen. 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 Any other contributions? Amen.
So as Christians, we also believe in waiting. Mm. We, waiting and praying. We also see that when we read Matthew 25, the 10 meetings, they were, they were waiting. They some were foolish, some were wise. Mm. Those who were, uh, uh, who were wise, they wait, pray. Mm. And those who were unwise, they just wait and rely on their street spiritual experience. Mm. Their street spiritual experience. Not, not checking that, that the lamb is uh, not dying. So we must wait, pray. Amen. We thank God that will be the end of our lesson. Amen. Amen. Did the disciples know Jesus? No. No, 
de Jesus. After the beating, what question did Jesus ask Peter? You love me.
for what helps Daniel do interpretation of uh, writing and uh, dreams. And through visions to reveal the wisdom of God he also revealed the kingdom which is destined to be regarded as wise for all the ages to the world to come. The kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. During the final years of captivity, Daniel spoke to God through prayer prayer and supplication and fasting. The lesson is teaching us to pray. How much do you pray for him? Daniel prayed a humble prayer. As the righteous as, as he was righteous, he, 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 I mean, as he was righteous, as he, as, as he was, he, 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 we heard uh, from our previous lessons that he, he, he was perfect, he was righteous, he was found blameless. Even today, it was said that he was he was found blameless. But he prayed like he was a sinner. In heaven, he carried all the burdens and all the sins of Israel. On his shoulder with prayer. Can we do that with our families? We heard that in our lessons that we are the ones who should pray for our families like Job. And we pray for our neighbors. Even the church in times of trouble, it needs prayer. Amen. People who can pray. Let's read Daniel chapter 9, verse 5. Daniel chapter 9, verse 5. Verse 5. We have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgment. Are we not telling God of our good works on our prayers? Like what we have. This is time to repent. Ask God for forgiveness. We should not be like that uh, Pharisee who prayed uh, with the publican and he was posting himself before God. But the, uh, the, the public just said, I am a sinner. All prophecies which Daniel was shown by Emmanuel when he was praying have now been fulfilled. We are now waiting for the final one, which is of the end of the world. Let's read uh, Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 11 and 14. Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 11 and 12. Jeremiah 25, verse 11. And this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment. And these nations shall serve the king of Babylon seventy years. And twelve. Verse twelve. And it shall come to pass, when seventy years are accomplished, that I will punish the king, the king of Babylon, and that nation, and that nation, saith the Lord, for their iniquity in the land of the, of the Chaldeans, 